Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Pat the Sound Guy here again with another video all about, you guessed it, more USB sticks. So, we have installed Linux to the USB stick as an installation. We've made it a portable USB storage device as well. Now the question is, now what do I do with it? Well, we're going to show you what. Stay tuned. Here we are, our Zorin Linux installation on the USB stick is all booted up on our laptop. Let's go have a look what I've pulled up. And here we are with one of my favorite pieces of audio software. This is Reaper. I use Reaper an awful lot here on campus because we have a lot of professors and instructors who love to do podcasts. And I get the great job of editing podcasts and I love editing podcasts. It is awesome fun. I get to learn all kinds of fun things because well, they're informative and I use Reaper to edit them. So let's see what we can do with Reaper on my Linux installation. Well, of course you see here, we can install Windows version of Reaper. We can install Linux version of Reaper. We can even put it on a Raspberry Pi on Linux. And of course we're running Zorin Linux. So we're gonna walk you through how to download and install Reaper on Linux. To get started, we're gonna download our version of Reaper that we like, and we want the 64 bits, so we're on a Debian base, so regular standard download is gonna do it for us. And here I have an archive, it's like a zip file. We're gonna save that file, it's gonna end up in our downloads folder. Of course, it's only 11 megabytes, so it's gonna be quick. We're gonna go have a look and view in our containing folder. And here is our Reaper installation file. We want to extract right here. And here's our folder with Reaper in it. Now to install this, it's not all that difficult. What we want to do is we want to take note of the install reaper dot shell file here. And what we can do, if you want to not have to type that in, you can just rename. I select it and press copy and then just press escape and it'll get us back into the rename. Now we've copied, copied that and we're going to repaste it. Now we're going to go to open in terminal. This is a very great thing because you don't have to try and change directories in the terminal. So the wonderful terminal, very handy thing in Linux. Now to install this, all we have to do is type super user do. So sudo space dot slash. And then we can go control shift V. Put our password in for our Linux installation. And as simple as that, we can install Reaper on our Linux installation. So basically we want to install it. So we press I for install, enter. I usually take the number one option to install it. Desktop integration for this install, yes. Yes. Proceed with installation. Yes. Installation complete. That's it. We're done. We can close that. Close that. In some versions of Linux, you may have to reboot your system for Reaper to show up in a list of programs. So we're going to reboot this now and then Reaper will show up in our programs. Now that we've rebooted we can go into our sound and video folder and we can open Reaper. To start using it with your onboard audio, we just click audio device, click pulse audio, set your sample rate. Right now we'll leave it 44.1. And you are up and running with Reaper to track. Now, the wonderful thing about Reaper and wonderful thing about Linux is now if we plug in a standard USB interface like a Scarlett 2i2 or an audio box from PreSonus 
or even an X32 from Behringer or a Minus M32, they all work in Linux with no extra drivers added just out of the box. You plug it in, it's going to pick up all those tracks and channels and everything's going to be right in there and you can make this work. Well, there you have it. Reaper installed on Linux. It's that easy. There's no reason why not to use it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to subscribe over here, give a thumbs up, comment down below, and again, rock on, and we'll see you on the next one.